What's up, beautiful honey cheeks? How's it going? Welcome back to another Spider-Man video. As you may notice in this video, I am wearing some new clothes. I am a big deal now. I'm like very famous. As you, if you couldn't tell, I want my, my Moist Critical video blew up. Remember in the last video, I was upset that I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't famous anymore. <laughs> but uh, now we fixed it. We're we're back on track. <laughs> I am the biggest deal in the room today. All right, please, please, everybody, please. I I remember you. I remember you. All right, everybody. I have some more news on the Spider-Man movie. Okay. Also, welcome back. Big Shot is back on track, making another Spider-Man video, and I, I wanted to let you guys know about what's going on, or, or what my theories are, or what I think is going on, and uh, yeah, this is part three of my Spider-Man video series. Make sure you go and check all of the other ones out. It is currently December 6th. The movie comes out on December 17th, and I'm pretty excited, and uh, I have a few theories and a few, I don't know, things that I came up with. I don't know. In other words, Theories, ladies and gentlemen, I have cracked the code. I have solved what many couldn't. I am the big shot, like I said. And I bet you want to know. I bet you want to know. Well, gather around, everybody. Gather around. These conspiracies are probably unhealthy because I've thought about them long and hard. Maybe a little too much. It, it's just, I think it might be a little damaging to my, to my brain because... It uses up too much capacity, and it's lethal to my growth, my ability to grow in knowledge. And I was on call with my friend last night, two nights ago, a night ago, something like that. It was a, it wasn't a fortnight ago, that's for sure. Now, um, this could be the only theory that I have for this video. I think it is, but I, I, I'm just gonna ramble for a minute. So I hope you like rambling. Now, on my phone call with my friend last night, shout, uh, shout out to Hot Rodder Son, okay? You know... The leaked video of Lizard being mysteriously punched by thin air. People are assuming that it is Venom edited out and not one of the Spider-Men. And you know, it's fine if my friend thinks this, but for the rest of the internet, what are you crazy? What do you, you want that to be Venom? Huh? I don't know how they're gonna tie it in. Well, if they do, and it'll be like better in the future three movies that they're gonna be doing with Tom Holland. Ow, shit. I think that's okay, but at, dude, why don't, do okay, my theory, is it might actually be Venom, right? Venom punched the shit out of Lizard because at the end of Venom 2, right? I'm not gonna spoil anything, but if you know, you know. No spoilers in these videos, by the way. I, I don't think. I hope I didn't spoil anything in the first two Spider-Man videos, but whatever. If it's Venom, I guess it would make sense because of the end of Let There Be Carnage, right? Boom, right? And oh, they're coming through and I can't stop them. If Marvel and Sony was able to pull off like that deal or that agreement because all they did was argue like, God damn, Damn brother and sister, god damn it. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah make a deal, Rumble Silk Skin. <laughs> I'm getting off track. But no, if it's Venom, I guess I'm fine with that. Venom is like an anti-hero, right? He's good. Wouldn't we like it if it's Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire? I guess because the whole internet thought or, or, or thinking or wanting very much so for Tobey and Andrew to be in the movie, the movie makers of the, of the No Way Home movie, they were like, oh shit. <laughs> they're just gonna be so disappointed. Uh, hey guys, by the way, uh, Tom Holland isn't done being Spider-Man. We're gonna be working on three new movies so we can get this wish done. Your, your wish granted, right? What do you think? Do you think that's what's going on here? I think the, the answer will obviously be revealed to us all on, on the day that the movie is released, December 17th, right? I feel like I'm, I'm pitching the movie to you guys. Like, look. Who punched Lizard? Venom confirmed. Punched by Invisible Venom. Edited Spider-Man out. So, like, we're getting a bunch of mixed messages. No one really knows. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I did find something that is pretty groundbreaking. And that I bet you didn't know either. Unless you're a f nerd. Venom can turn invisible. Yeah. Yeah. I bet you didn't know this shit. Did you? How can... How? Seven, invisibility slash camouflage. To go along with the ability to mimic clothing and statures, the Venom symbiote is able to mimic its surrounding environment, thus making it invisible to the naked eye. Uh, so... I think it may be Venom. I don't think they edited anything out. I don't know how they would do that now that I think about it. I thought about it at first, but I was just like, um, I guess it, they know how to do that now, I guess. So... I don't think there's any point for this video to continue, but 
I'm gonna continue talking. According to ScreenRant.com, Venom can... It appears that many of the other powers that Venom possesses is digestion. Wow, that's very impressive, Venom. But look, this is very interesting because, um... Another is oxygen filtration. So this dude can breathe anywhere, right? He has cloning abilities. He has acidic saliva, which I'm pretty sure we all knew about. He has regrowing limbs, which I'm pretty sure we all knew about. And camouflage. And he has immune this telepathic what? Spontaneous weapon creation. Yeah, and it cured his cancer, which was really cool. Hearing the voice of the universe. Oh, I didn't know about all this shit. What the heck? What the fuck? Surfing the web? In addition to becoming a part of his host and simply blending in with them, Venom can actually camouflage his body in in any way he sees fit, which might mean going nearly invisible. It also includes being able to manufacture clothing for his host. So that is a major hint right there. Also, I started thinking about like the end of The Amazing Spider-Man 2 and what their direction would have been. Um, well, first of all, I think like like at the end of The Amazing Spider-Man 2, the end of Spider-Man 3, they're like, oh yeah, we messed up, but we messed up with these movies, so we can't continue them. So they're like, we threw them in the trash can, right? Maybe it just worked to their convenience, and it was like, yeah, we messed up, yeah, but like, we're still gonna put these into No Way Home, right? Like, I think that, because it, 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 like, they fucked up, but... At the same time, it worked out for them because this massive multiverse crossover is going to be happening, right? So it's like, it's like, oh my god, why are they starting over all these Spider-Man movies? Didn't they already have like five of them? Yes, but uh, if they didn't have those five movies, then we wouldn't have this major crossover, right? That's hopefully going to be happening. But if it doesn't, fine, I guess. I'll be very sad, but... We have three more chances for this crossover to happen. We also need the Venom Spider-Man crossover like Tom Holland was was uh, make, making sure that everybody screamed it out loud on, on the rooftops very loudly so the stars could hear them. But yeah, I just thought I would let you guys know um, that Venom could actually be in the movie instead of the three Spider-Men. What do you guys think? Do you want the three Spider-Men or Venom and minus the Spider-Men? So Tom Holland and probably Doc Ock. Because I got a comment. I got a comment on one of my videos. Wait, hold up. Oh my god, bro. Okay, yeah. I got a comment from the legendary XXJ man. They 100% in the movie. If you count it, there will be six villains in the new movie. And a 1v6 isn't really a good match. Right? Which, it, which makes sense. And I said, right. It wouldn't make sense if they were, weren't in there. There are more signs pointing to they're in it and less pointing to they aren't in it. And then he sent another comment. He said, now that I think of it, I believe it's going to be a 5v5 because Doc Ock will probably be friendly midway through the movie and the three Spider-Men and Doctor Strange. And also maybe Venom, <laughs> right? He didn't say that, but I'm adding that right, right now. So I don't know. That seems a, that seems a bit, uh, cause Doc Ock didn't die in spider-man 2 i guess it's like implied but like it's also not and it, it, it's also not implied that he died but it's also implied that he lived but it's also implied that he died but it's also not implied at the same time so it's like did he die and also sandman he didn't die in spider-man 3 now hobgoblin did <laughs> right i think in both movies actually poor thing who else died venom he got he gotten rid of they rebooted the movie. They rebooted that one. Uh, Green Goblin. I don't know how they got him back. Because he died. Did they go, like, back in time? Or is it, like, a different universe? Is it? I don't know. I never I never really was a person to read comics or anything. So maybe this is already explained. But he died in Spider-Man 1. Was it, like, they went back in time just before he died? Or, or something? I don't know. Because he's going to look like he aged as well. But... But I guess that's just, like, ruining the illusion now at this point, like, from, from me. I don't know. I don't know what to think. So, let me know what you guys think. I think that's the end of this video. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys later. See you guys later. Beep Tweebot.